Welcome back, everyone. It is time for our second, uh, The Draft. All Stars. This time we've dragged in Leith and Redhawk because that's what you guys uh, wanted. And, you know, we, we just can't say no. Uh, I can feel the tension is immeasurable. It's heavy. And whatever happens, it's going to be explosive. The trash talk has been real. And of course, before we go uh, talk to our players and see how revved up they really are, we do need to talk to our casters and look at the quest board. Count Christo and uh, Walter White, how are you guys doing? Pretty good, thank you, pretty good. Always a pleasure to be here. What have you got planned for our uh, our con uh, contenders here uh, tonight? So here are the week's challenges. I think one of the really interesting things about this evening's play is going to be that for the first time in by my count something like seven weeks we have here two players going up against each other who have never played the draft this is mm -hmm. their first outing and they are going straight into it with some of the harder quests remember that many of our earlier players got some practice before we cranked up the difficulty in week three so we are seeing players taking on more difficult quests. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, that makes sense. So now I'm sure uh, some in Twitch chat are claiming that this is the most stacked field that we've ever put on uh, the draft All-Stars. Of course, last week we had Flurry and Slevik, but I'm sure there's people going, no, 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 these are two of the very best EU4 players uh, the world and the internet has to offer. Uh, Ludi, what do you think What do you think we're going to see tonight? I think uh, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise since uh, both players are pretty equally matched today. And we've noticed that experience pays off. Today, there's no experience on both sides, right? Or mm -hmm. equal experience, better yet, since they haven't uh, played in any of the previous matches. So that mm -hmm. means that technically it's fair game, right? It could be mm -hmm. anyone. To guess who's going to win today so it, it's going to come down to how uh how many uh objectives they're going to pick in my opinion and yep. how fast they can deal with handling them because we've seen last week mm. picking 10 is not the play it's, especially if you're new to the to the series i'm going to go talk to our players and i will hand it off to you once we're done with the draft talk to you guys soon <laughs> all right ice sculpture over there on the left right yeah let's get that uh that fountain on the oh hi how, how are we doing? Sorry to bother you late. You seem to be uh, redecorating. Oh, no, uh, not redecorating. It's my victory party. So I thought I'd get it in advance, mm -hmm. quickly dust off Hawk, and then I'll just head straight in. Uh, if Makes that's sense. Right. So okay, I'm just going to move my things in the background. So I've already got the champagne flutes out. We're very excited. Fireworks are due to be set off after the second mm -hmm. duel. Uh, it's actually kind of Red Hawk to turn up, given the, uh, the foregone conclusion here. But mm -hmm. it, it's good sportsmanship. I appreciate it. I, I especially like the fact that you have, I assume, all of your friends just out of frame. Oh well, yeah, they're just hiding, you know, yeah, they don't want to yeah. get in the frame, it, like... Sorry, it's, it's, it's more people, they're just coming in all the time, stream hundreds, in fact, I would say. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, Redhawk, uh, you terrified yet? Look at this dude, man. The biggest event of his life right here to play U4 versus me. It's just another Monday for me, Knorr. I mean... I just want to get this over with and get it done. He's organizing victory parties, which is going to be a loser party, by the way. Listen, helpful, this is no big really deal helpful. for me. I just want to go get dinner. Let's get this over with. To be to be fair, he is currently the only undefeated uh, Speed 5 champion. Well, that's going to change today. Do you guys have any strategy going into this? We're going to go do some drafting in a bit. I've got a pretty good one. Uh, currently, it's win. Uh, do better mm -hmm. than Red Hawk. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, and then after that, again, I've got a chocolate fountain lined up. It's going to be great. Come on, G get the invite, yeah? Email? No? I, 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 I did not. Where did, oh. you send, where, where did you send it to? Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, what's your what's your strategy, man? How are you, how are you coming into this? Uh, I think I'm going to chill for about 59 minutes, beat you in the last minute. You know, like I said, go get dinner. There, no, there's no... I do not have an invite. Sorry, you're him. breaking up a bit. I can't. The, the challenges? Okay, so... Uh, right, right, right. Okay, yep. Um, as always, we do a coin flip. Red Hawk, do you want, do you want scales or do you want the dragon? Uh, let's go with the dragon. Why not? Oh, it always loses. That's a great choice. It scales. Oh, easy. Oh, oh well. come on. Get used to it, mate. <laughs> Party starts early. 
Uh, uh. So <laughs> that means you get to decide if you want to uh, pick uh, or have Red Hot pick uh, the first uh, quest. Absolutely going to be picking. Okay. Uh, we're not doing any bans uh, in Dual 1 because, you know, uh, Babby's first time and all of that. We want to give you a chance to get some points on the board. What will be your first pick, Lee? Uh, have six subjects, number two. And Red Hawk? I'm going to go with number 36, own four gold provinces. So I'm just getting straight to it. Collins province number 14. Mm -hmm. This is very efficient. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to go with number uh, 56, I think it is. Have two of your starting rivals cease to exist. We're back to Lace. It's going for the easy ones. That's understandable. That's fine. Let's let's go uh, land for the three continents, I think. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Red Hawk. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to go with number 21. Own both sides of... Oh, two straight crossings? Well, actually, let's not go with that one. Let's go with subscriber 20. <laughs> have 25 mm -hmm. inflation. I'll go I'll go for that one. Why not? Two sides of the straights because you didn't seem to want it and it feels lonely now. So I, I want to be nice to it and I'll take it myself. It's a very solid play by Red Hawk uh, tricking Lathe. My turn, picking. huh? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go with uh, number 13 on 15 coastal provinces. It's a pretty obvious choice there, mate, but that's fine. Obvious kind of guy. 50% of provinces uncored. Okay, back to Red Hawk. All right, let's see what we have left here. Ah, here's an easy one. You know, why go for the hard ones? You can go for the easy ones. Own two sets of eight matching terrain provinces. Now, uh, you both have five. Uh, you can pick up to five more if you want. Or, you know, you can just stop now. Get five points, possibly. Uh, I... I think I'll go for another one, if that's... I, if, I feel like you should. You're so kind. Uh, 55% oh. crown land. Not bad, not bad. All right, if you're going for one more, I think I'll go for one more as well. Let's see, what do we have left here? 10k ducats. You know what? Why not? Let's go with number one, half 10k ducats. That's great. Uh, I'm going to go for another one, just because you oh. said that. I didn't like I didn't like the way that Hawk oh. said, because you're going one more. Uh, I'll go 100 trust with two nations, because I'm a nice guy. You don't have 100 trust with two people, come on. So nations. you're at seven. Do I stop right. here, or do I go for some more? How about number 20? Own all provinces in a trade node. I think I'm good. I don't need any more to beat this no. man. Okay, no. so you're sticking at seven. Red Hawk, Roll. if you uh, pick one more quest, you're also first to pick nation. Um, but you, of course, if you want to, you can also stop at seven. But it seems like a scrub number to stop at. Uh, well, then, like based that, on the challenges Lath picked here, I don't think we have the same nation in mind. If nope. we do, and he picks mine first, then it's gonna be super funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, you know what? Let's call it at seven. Why not? Why okay. Not? I can't believe we're seeing high tier gameplay here of pe uh, of players not going for the full ten, but instead wanting to get points. Yeah, Very just impressive. To the second half, mate. Uh, in that case, Lath, you get to pick your nation first. I'm going to go for the nation of Portugal. Portugal. It is a classic. Uh, it has been failed several times, probably. Red Hook. Very nice. W what would you like? I'm going to go with Kilwa. So it's yeah, Portugal yeah. versus Kilwa. Why wait any longer, Lath? Uh, Red Hook, may the best EU4 player win. Best of luck to both of you. I'm going to hand it off to the casters and they'll take it from here. See you after the first game. There are the picks. We have seen 7-7. Seven, seven, keeping things pretty even, Stevens, to start with. Have to imagine these two. Obviously, what we've seen today, unlike his other ones, is a certain degree of bravado. And I have to hear uh, Ludi, that is to say, the Blue Sparrow. I'm, so, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, what are you thinking? What, what's the outcome going to be here? Interesting choices there. I feel like Portugal we've seen before. Didn't somebody else pick Portugal Lurry in the past? Burnt, crashed and burned with Portugal last week. Right, so, right, right, right. But so this is much less the challenges. Six subjects, right? I feel like the objectives were fairly yeah. similar as well. The Kilwa, I feel we've seen, but in the Kilwa has been strong. Of, uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kilwa, Kilwa has, has been, been pretty, pretty good. good choice as well. So it's going to be interesting to see because both geographically speaking, they're pretty well off mm -hmm. nations with a lot of possibilities for mm -hmm. objectives around them. It's going to be mm -hmm. fairly, fairly close, I'd say. Absolutely. But let's take a look over at Red Hawk. Yeah, looking pretty good. I mean, I feel like we have a strong potential here for both of our players to manage to rack up quite a few points in round yeah, one. Yeah, I agree. They're all extremely easy objectives, especially for the countries they picked. So they made yeah. the right choice when it comes down to it. I think they might mm -hmm. even finish the session with 20 minutes to spare, in my opinion. Oh, there's a coup. Fantastic. Looking like a slightly bad RNG start for a uh, Red Hawk there. But uh, good air. Goodish air, anyway. Not great, but. Kilwa we'll, is we'll one of those uh, really underrated nations, in my opinion, because not only does it have a lot of gold mines at its doorsteps, right? But it also has one of the strongest monuments, the Kilwa Monument, uh, giving a lot of really great bonuses for trade. 
Mm. And the position is really good for going both colonial into Asia, so you can grab the Spice Islands, as well as into the New World if you really want to. Mm -hmm. You can quickly consolidate those areas. And it's an easy fight against the African natives because you're Muslim and you have uh, much better units and the technology than the yeah. natives in Central Africa and South Africa. Let's get let's get Red Hawk's input on that because I'm curious what was going on with that, that war there. Talk to us about that early war. Red Hawk, what, what, it seems like you, you went in with one plan, things changed, or is that is there some grand scheme I can't see? Uh, no, this is the initial war uh, versus Makua. The thing is, we can't get a claim on Mutapa just yet right here because of our subject. So this is the um... first war, just a white piece versus Mutapa. Choose us up, we're going to go ahead and fight them. This is mm -hmm. how it should have gone. I just didn't anticipate mm -hmm. the stab loss, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. Fair enough, fair enough. And with your challenges on the board, what are you most worried about? Where are you feeling confident? Where are you feeling weak? Nothing so far. Uh, let's see okay. where we are okay. when uh, a bunch of time passes, but everything is uh, okay for now. All right, so Red Hawk feeling pretty confident. I do feel like right now, let's just get the challenges back up here so we can remember. I feel like Red Hawk does have an easier challenge set. Let's take a look here. What is Leith up to? Okay, he is already carrying favors on the Pope and Castile. So you have to imagine that is where his two under trusts are going to come from could cause himself problems uh, if he... that's a weird choice i mean he gets less favors yeah with, uh with the big boys so i would have allied a smaller nation to get the trust extremely fast like you can get it in half the time even less than that yeah why is he going for castile that's a weird one just to clarify that for some of the viewers that might not know how this works when you carry favors you get a certain amount based on your diplomatic reputation and you get a certain amount based on the relative strength between your two nations or being allied passively. Planning the war here on Morocco. And yeah, so the problem with Castile, the other problem with Castile is that Castile goes to war with Morocco, takes provinces that he needs, and he's gonna either have to go to war with them, or he takes provinces that Castile wants, puts him in a difficult position. Like Castile looks like they're about to occupy Tangiers, and that wouldn't be great can for we, him. Can we check the objectives on screen so we can go sure, through them sure. a little bit for Leith? So let's see, six subjects is fairly easy for him. As we've seen Flory in the well, past, he got more than six subjects, didn't he? Yeah, but, but you have to uh, give them loyal. That's the problem. They have to be yeah, under 25 yeah. liberty desire for a struggled? month. struggled? I think somebody struggled with the loyalty. Everybody struggles they? with this. Colonize yeah. a province is easy peasy. Portugal is usually the first one to colonize. 50% of your province is non-core. Again, is not an easy, is not a, that hard. I feel like 50% mm. of your province is non-core is a lot easier than people give it credit for. Like, you literally can just give away your country and you can have that right end of the day. It doesn't, mm -hmm. you can do it at the end of the session and you can get it. 55% crownlands, if he wants to cheese it, and knowing late, he probably we will cheese it. He's just going to release himself <laughs> as somebody else. Have 100 trust with two nations. He's already on that. Yep. Own land in three continents. Extremely easy for Portugal. They start with land in two continents, as they have the province of Tangiers in Africa, yep. and they have Say the Utah, holdings. Close enough. And he just needs to get one province in the New World when he's going to colonize, and that's three continents. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, he's got all of those uh, objectives done. It's just a matter of playing the game out that's it it's nothing complicated one of the difficulties is the six subjects means you have to keep them loyal to keep them loyal you have to keep yourself strong which means you can't burn yourself out while you're trying to get the subjects because if you get really low manpower you get damaged you get all that kind of situation so that's when they start you, to feel strong here's how you would handle that in my opinion right you would handle it by getting uh, your subjects as one province miners so you would release uh, whatever you could release as one province miner dead to one which in his case cannot anymore because castile sniped that Sure. But uh, you would get uh, Sus and uh, Marrakesh and Tafilal as one province miners, right? So mm. you would take mm. the Moroccan lands, keep Looks the like Moroccan lands for yourself, and you would keep the other ones as one province miners. That would be the smart play in that particular case. And then you would not struggle with subject uh, liberty desire either then. That does look like pretty much what this piece deal is going towards. I'm very curious. Whenever our players look like they're kind of tabbing out, you're like, is he... Talking to us? Is he checking the wiki? <laughs> it's always, there's always a question. Let's have a talk to Leith. Leith, hello. hello. Oh my God, hello. hello. The, God, the ice terrifying. sculpture is going to be late. Don't just like pop in. Give me a warning, <laughs> next time, man. <laughs> next time, we should not say anything and just scare him. Like, just make some weird noises, in my opinion. Should just come in and go. <sighs> Don't we'll just go like. Either. <sighs> <laughs> miserable aren't you i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that immediately when you're just trying to command that army next time he declares war when he's really focused that's when we do it how, how good are you guys at counting by the way out of curiosity counting i can go to at least 12. that's perfect how many non-core uh provinces makes up 50 percent of portugal you know you, know you can six, hover seven, over your dev eight, in nine, the economy ten. screen it tells you how many provinces you have right yeah 14, yeah, 27 more provinces. So one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven. i should get out of this one now you're gonna need 50 yeah. percent non-core 
So you need at least so 13 seven. provinces. No, if, you think, if you add I seven you had to, to take, I thought you had to take like 50%. No. <laughs> oh, that doesn't make any sense. My guy, my guy tried to <laughs> tried to Look, work out 50% of the value before he fine. changed the value. That's not how Welcome that works. To, it could, if I if I say it does, that's how it works. What well, you could play? All right, look, I'm gonna be real, uh, real, real about this. This this ice sculpture is expensive. Do you take bribes? I'm He's not sure we do. I, I am. L Liddy? I mean, to be honest. Liddy, buddy. Be honest. Hey man, we go way back, you and me. <laughs> mm, I, mean, I can just, be bribed. I'm not gonna lie. I can be not bribed. To, so. Not to rub it in, uh, but uh, Red Hawk has just completed his first challenge. Uh, I'm now seeing over there. We've got. Uh, oh, completed, he completed the world so. conquest. Wow. Oh yeah. All of the, he's got all of the challenges done. It looks like. Actually, that's interesting. It's interesting. That's mm. amazing. That, that that's fast. great. I'm so uh -huh. I'm so happy for him. I'm so you guys. So this is this what you do, huh? You you come in yeah, pretty much. You mock me. All right. I don't think I don't sure. think I mocked you. It's just that if if accurately describing what you're doing counts as mockery, then I mean that is active I mockery. I think that's I mean, honestly it's helpful. You should compromise with an ability because maybe they'll help you out and like tell you what to do. I don't want to. Maybe they can count. No, just because you maybe said that was strengthening. Just because you said that, that's not even part of the strategy. <laughs> I just did it just because you said that. Honestly. But on a more also, serious note. Yeah. You got you, some, you got some challenges on the board. Where where are you feeling strong? What's going to be the challenge? Where am I feeling strong? Well, since that one, not not very many places, but that's okay because uh, I could do the straights one pretty easy. The colonization one's pretty easy, so I'll get points on the board. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. Just to check, you you have forty three minutes and no challenges currently completed. I just wanted to make sure that you had yeah, yeah. internalized. Yeah, no, that's great. Thanks, man. Okay, was, okay. So previously concerned. you had to do one challenge every eight minutes. Now it's more like one every kind of five and a half, that kind of thing. Just oh, okay. So look, we're on the level. Look, just why is it an essay? <laughs> like, believe. I remember what you guys were saying when I did masters. No one believed that I could do it. I remember underdog every time. See, it's nice Nathan, to actually I... talk back to you guys. <laughs> good. Well, I'm glad you at least enjoy the fact that you can, you know, repost. All right. Good luck, guys. Good luck. I'm dying. Let's go. Let's go take a look at Red Hawk here. I mean, this is looking like a more successful run. Hold I mean, on, I'm hold not... on, hold on. This is important. He's counting. Look at that. Look at him count the provinces. <laughs> he did it twice already. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on. Let's give him some time. When he's about to finish counting, that's when we go in. How do we? How do we enter though? I mean, that surely that is really the question here. Is he counting out loud to himself? Does he yep. know we yep. can't he's hear counting. him? He's counting. He's counting. <laughs> but the question is, we entered. We entered uh, late chat. Right, with it without without a pre plan. We need we need a way to strike. A a way to, to, to really get to Red Hawk here. What's the what's the noise? What's the auditory attack that we can launch to try and balance the scales? In that I mean, previous uh, conversation? I can I can jump in, make some noise. Just let me know beforehand. You're all right, we're gonna we're, we're going in a Red Hawk. Three, two, Lorem. State this up too. Hey, hey, you want some air? You want some air? Yup, the lathe is going down. He, he's to be honest with you, down. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to pump your tires too much, but uh, we've just spent like five minutes roasting lathe because he couldn't oh, figure yeah? out what fifty percent of thirteen was and how if you add fifty percent to it, that doesn't mean you have fifty percent of the new number. And but then <laughs> we came here and we saw you counting, and it seemed to be taking you a while. So. I don't know if we want to give you too much credit either. I'm doing good. I got one down by now. I don't know, Leith. I don't think he has any, or maybe he has four. Right, right. now, right now he has none. So I mean, you are you are. He has none. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm the best. Right now, right, what I'm right. seeing is that uh, Leith can't do percentages, right? But it turns out, and and I don't want you I'm to take to this too badly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the peasants want. Yeah, the not looking good, boys. Well, enjoy right. your enjoy your peasant war. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna lose because of it. Well, I mean, the, there are excuses being made at this. Not, that's not my, sure that's how we feel about one. that. For the record, uh -huh. that's my first excuse. You have you have some others on a notepad in front of you. Do you? You're all, all queued up. Yep. We'll tune in when you next uh, have a disaster fire in, in five to yep. ten minutes. So that's Red Hawk's position. Let's let's get a little bit serious here though, because our players looked like they were on track to uh, to maybe get a clean. S Clean, clean sweep. I'm, I'm feeling like we might get a double zero. No, actually, I'm feeling the same. Like we're halfway into this and they haven't done anything. What, what's going on here, man? <laughs> it could. I mean, they definitely could pull through. Red Hawk has got himself in a little bit of a dangerous position. He's already quite a lot in debt. You know, his his 10k gold strategy is clearly based on a high loan cap based gold generation. Yeah. But if he's already thing, though, in it, here's the thing, though. He's not focusing on his objectives because. He needs to attack the Madagascar parts 
ASAP, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, Madagascar is going to be a pain. He's not building a fleet. He's not getting the yeah. flames, and I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I mean his other option, for? his other option would be to to go colonial and just like colonize the Cape. His cap is also going to go up the more dev he has, right? So once he takes the rest of Madagascar, he's going to take bigger bigger loans, right? Let's see. I mean, he still has thirty five minutes. To be fair, he can do it in thirty five minutes. Like mm -hmm. he's got the coastal provinces, I think, right? Or he's going to get it after Malindi and Pati, I guess. Let's take a look oh, back okay. at Leith, That's see good. what progress he's made here. And he, okay, he's grabbed a bunch more provinces. Did he core any while he was doing it? Or is he up to 50% here? No, he is coring them. Okay, how are we going to enter this time? I, I got a card sign. I got a card sign. We're going to go, we're going to go like this. I don't like this, this, yeah, yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Hello, hello, how's hello, it going? How are we doing? I noticed uh, that you're better. coring provinces. Yeah, well, I did the thing. You've done it already. I did it. Go back and watch okay. the footage. Don't come in with suspicions like that. No, I come in here with suspicion. I'm not coming in here with suspicion. I'm coming in here as a, uh, a welcoming friend, as a, a, welcoming a helpful friend. ally. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll, I'll do it again then. That's how confident <laughs> I am. God, no, no, you can tell us now that you have done it. You don't need All to, right, you don't I'm need also, to read it. I'm uh, also halfway to getting the three. Halfway, three nice. Three. Okay, you, you are halfway through your time as well. So stay yeah. on stay on time with that one. Uh, 100 trusts of two nations, right? Has to be at the same time, yeah? Correct, correct, yes. Oh, wonderful. That's great. That's ah, so and you good. have pivoted to weaker nations to, to do that with. That is That seems I smart. have. Uh, I also made a mistake. Uh, in case you're wondering, because I'm human, I'm. Mm -hmm. I know it might not seem like that at times. It's fine. What was the mistake? Talk to talk us. To I cover. released the uh, I released the vassals too early, and so I'm I'm over my diplomatic cap at a time which I mm. really really. Did. Fortunately, you haven't taken wait, any diplo ideas. Wait, you have five vassals, right? I only have three. You have five vassals or three? I have three. Oh, why do? You... Oh, okay. All right. so I thought because he made a mistake, Ludi. We don't need to dwell on the yeah, fact that he made really, this honestly, huge mistake. Okay. I thought, I Ludi, thought Ludi, Ludi, we, we're meant to be nice to why, him why because Mazab despite the fact vassal, that he's made this massive mistake, which will set him back, we're not going to no, dwell but, on no, it. No, no. We're going to move Tunis straight fixes past that. One it. war against Tunis fixes that. He gets Mazab to Gord. Shkebaba de Bose, whatever the hell they call those places, and uh, this one of the streets. Shout out as to well. my North African brethren. <laughs> <laughs> my boys out in Shkebaba de Bose. All right, you guys, you have any mm -hmm. advice for me? How about that? Why don't we, why don't we flip this around? Why don't you tell me how things yeah, are going? Yeah, yeah, no, own? let's, 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 let's be positive. Let's throw this in. So I'm looking at the challenges that you've got on the board right now. My advice is that you have six subjects, colonize a province, have 50% of your province is non-core, own both two sides, two straight crossings, are paying 55% crown land, have 100 trust for two nations, alone, three and three continents. Yeah, okay, the, I got all in of that. that order. Everybody else got that, guys? Everyone? Cheers, man. I'll, I'll give that a go. But no, more seriously, I think you're on good track. You've got colonize a province and own straight crossings is very doable with colonization. You're on track to do that as long as your uh, country well, doesn't completely implode. Oh, which it might uh, if you hammer C too hard, right? But there you go. Okay. I don't even touch C. Oh, for... Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, here's my advice. Z. I don't know. I think I have to accept that. <laughs> Idiots. Right, we crack on. We crack on. How long do I have, by the way, out of curiosity? 30 Possibly. minutes remain. 30? Oh, plenty of time. Mm -hmm. I thought I had 10. Ooh, I'm going to... Uh, oh, gonna... oh, this is going to be great. Oh, you want to watch this? Sorry, do I have to report it in Discord? Can I just tell it to you right now? If you can wait 50 days, I'll... My oh, alive. sorry, Lathe, you're breaking up. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's switch over to Red Hawk. Uh, and, yeah, uh, we're switching over to Red Hawk. Yeah. You do have to report that. Oh, God, it's a one... <laughs> Anyone catch a, that? I don't know what he said. That was such good timing. Bro, Red Hawk, what, what the hell? You, you, you do, we can't hear you all the time, bud. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just sitting here Listen, looking at your I camera and you're going like talking. five, two, five. Right, two sets of eight matching provinces is done. Right? As nice. You can see, I got eight coastline and eight savannah. Nice. So that's done. Can I give them back to Moravi, these two now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Question mark? Once the challenge is oh, done, nice. ever, it is done forever. Sweet, right, sweet. Right. All right, let me give them uh, Nsenga right here, and let me give them uh, Lundu. Those are the uh, provinces mm -hmm. I took from them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Well done. I have to warn you that uh, Laith is accusing me of being very biased and, and being on uh, on your team. So I have brought Ludi here to insult you purely to try and beat the allegations. Listen, that's what we did, so I salute it. <laughs> I respect it. Ludi, do what you got to do. I'm right here, baby. I'll Ludi, take it. Ludi, get him. For just, for just five euros, I will take you aside and smash the opposition. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just I'm ten, just saying. Ten, 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 right now, ten. Say yes. Fif fif Fifteen final price. Why are you haggling mm. up? Why? Done. What is going on? All right, nobody has to know this. I'm losing my mind. This is, a, this is a Monty Python sketch. You were offered five and you haggled it up to ten, but it's your expense. Chris, so you don't know how to negotiate, all right? 
That's all I'm going to say, so... Yeah, not bad. All right, let me complete uh, a third challenge. Have two starting rivals not exist. That's the third mm -hmm. challenge. That's the one I'm doing right now. As soon as Mombasa mm -hmm. stops existing, that'll be a success as well. So uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. There's that war declaration for you boys. What's Lathan? Let me know what's Lathan. Well, it's, it it depends. Uh, it depends how I you think he want to talk about it a couple of times already. Lath may or may not have been right. not reporting his challenges, so he's technically on zero. Oh no, there we go. He's reported one. He's got one done. I think yep, he's technically got it. two done because there is another one, but he's he just probably, not told he's us about probably it yet. done the straits as well because he's just gonna use the colonists to colonize and bring back. I guess. So it sounds like despite the fact that he Listen, has had some troubles yeah. with the whole counting thing, he's catching up on you. Do you feel the heat? Not bad. Not bad. That's what I like to That's see. A good I misread that straight crossing thing at the start. I thought it was only one, so you know, kill already <laughs> starts with one. Oh, it looks like I mean, you gotta go to war with Malindi then. anyway and Pate, so you might as well attack. Yeah, the yeah, also, true. The I mean, do I? Eh. Yeah, yeah. You need for the fifteen trade coastline note. actually. Yeah. No, no, no. All the provinces oh. in your trade note. Oh yeah, true. I got that one as well. Should start spying on them too, I guess. Good tip, Ludi. Good tip, Ludi. I bring you in here to try and insult the guy. And, and even the scales on the fact that I've just been laying no, no, into man. lay. You know, you, give him you tips? Western people, you know, us Eastern Europeans, we stick together, bro, you know? I'm just saying, man. Gods. You, you guys have 25 can go minutes remaining. FYI. 25 minutes 25 remaining. Minutes. Minutes. We will indeed. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll get five done for sure. I don't okay. know five eight. gives you one <laughs> point, by the way. Just just making sure that this Listen, is... That's uh, one more I mean, than zero, baby. That's one more than it's zero. It's one more than zero. That is inspiration. You should put on a t-shirt. All right. We're clear. He's talking, but we can't hear him. <laughs> Late is still going. He's looking pretty good. He's getting the favors curried. Trust 100 on the Pope man. Munster. Oh, no, oh, it's looking close. It's fine. Can fine, he get the trust fine. before they die? Everything, everything, is, everything is so good right now. You have no idea. I, is, it, oh my God, like plan. a Castile. It's Aragon yeah, holds it's a, Gibraltar. What did we miss? We were trying to bully well, Red Hawk to make it fair. Things have we changed missed a around lot. here. You don't understand the pain that I'm in. Okay, just mm -hmm. don't die, buddy. Come on. They'll, they'll, they'll survive. Oh, Watch, you'll good... see. You, do you, you know the guys in Munster? How, how hardy those people are? They're so hardy. Mm. <gasps> mm -hmm. There's 10. Mm -hmm. Just hold out. I have... You, you see that river right now that they're not blockading that, that keeps the siege progress going? I have actually sailed up that river, so I have to agree. That's, uh, I'm they're, so they're happy good for you. I'm so glad you mm -hmm. managed to shoehorn your own uh, exploits into I know. my disaster. I know. Thank you for helping me understand that, that you're the you're real You're most hero welcome. Uh, you should probably curry favors you, right? with somebody else, just in case. And you abandon my time. only ally? <laughs> Come on, man. It's f Why would I do that? He would never. I would, would never. never. I'm so... Uh, have you ever heard of a sunk cost fallacy? Oh, Where no! People quit just before they're ahead, right? That's the one. Go on, boys! It's not looking good. The war situation has developed not necessarily to my advantage here. No, oh, that no. sounds like a surrender to me. Uh, I don't know what you mean by surrender. I would never surrender. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're just coincidentally quoting the the, the Japanese announcement of surrender. It's, That's it's the Japanese fun. announcement of surrender. I thought it was their victory song. <laughs> well, who do you think won World War Two? <laughs> <laughs> Japanese won World War Two. Uh, no, uh, turn his <laughs> Come on, you come on. <laughs> No! Oh, wait, we're good, we're good. Oh, that good, wasn't them, good. that wasn't them. Come Did on, man! No! Wait, wait, what can I do? What can I do that gives trust? I, can I whisper sweet nothings um, into their ears? Uh, they probably have most of their trips in uh, Scotland now. You have 10,000 somewhere. It's in the New World, I guess. Yeah, they're in the, they're in the New World. I don't really want to... I can't be able to take them off, mate. Come on. Uh, that mm -hmm. requires mm -hmm. large amounts of effort on my part. This is fine. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is... It's, it's, oh, you boys aren't, you aren't ready for this. I, I think the English are ready for this, is my suspicion. No, but no, you no. go ahead. Are you going to land on man? The yeah, problem of man seems <laughs> lovely this time of year. If you, does that work? If you transfer man to their occupation, does that prevent them from being 100%ed? We're about to find out. <laughs> I'm, I, I think Don't I think know the answer, but, I, uh, but I, I'd love to be wrong. It All does, right. yeah, yeah. It, it brings them down. Nice. 99. All right. Yeah, now they'll Looking hold up for good. a little bit. They'll hold up for a little bit. I can't believe I'm going to do this, Japs. It's going to be... I'll be honest. I mean... It's not going to be close. Don't say things like that. Don't... Don't... Oh. There you go. I'd like to report another challenge, and I'm going to do that in All Discord right. right now. Oh, I would love right that. Now. I would love that so much. You know, I'd, I'd okay. love... Oh, we're going to get a circumnavigation. We're going to get a circumnavigation. We're going to get the circumnavigation as well. He types out. Here we go. Let's go. Cool. All right. We're good. Now my... 
always nice. can come Wait, Suddenly, what? suddenly you got things. Are... Win. I got Earlier. an encore. Yeah. Right at the start. I'm so look. Oh. You may wish to underestimate oh, me, but my machinations <laughs> are beyond your comprehension. And by that I mean I, I don't mean, know that's what's pretty going good. on, man. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was Legendary. close as hell. Right, what else? And How once again, so Nathan is leading by half, actually. Now you have 18 oh, no, minutes. It's a tie. Never mind. It is right now. You are four to four. It's everything to play for. And uh, all F4 is uh, it's not allowed, I assume. It's no. Fun, or is it hard? No, no. it's not. <laughs> hard? No, boys. Come on, we're, we're all friends here, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, not really. I didn't get an invite to that uh, celebration party either, so I'm not <laughs> well, sure. Well, let's see if it happens, man. Wait, oh. there's a celebration party? No, no one tell, no one tell Louis, no one tell Louis about uh, it. Seventeen and a half minutes. Good luck, Leif. All right, I told Leif we were going to Red Hawk. Let's not. Let's keep eyes on here because we have to talk about how unbelievably doomed this man is. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna tell me he can come back from this, right? Oh, he can get it. Uh, I mean, look at that. He's got um, four vassals already, right? Four. Yeah, and he can uh, release. Yeah, but this is an independence war. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter though. He can still release Tafulalt afterwards. Wait, did he lose Sus? Oh, that's the one he's at war with, isn't he? Is it war with yeah. Fez and Sus, I yeah. think? Yeah. Why is to 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 Gort though uh, independent? Because Steel got its ass kicked by uh, France and Aragon, so that's a really good way for him to get Galicia, uh, Tetuan. Sorry, not to Gort. Tetuan, Galicia, has new vassals. So if Galicia I Galicia is him, probably guaranteed by France, given that France was the. I mean, France is likely going to cancel that guarantee. To be fair. Yeah, uh, he could win this war if he marks up. He's got twenty thousand manpower and he's got a lot of money. What he doesn't need the money. What are you talking though. about? There's no way he's gonna win this war. He's got twenty four thousand. He's got twenty thousand manpower. He's at war with what? A couple of his vassals and uh, Tunisia. That's it, right? Yeah, but he's, he's in got the... Castile on his side. Are you hearing this? this? This is the most optimistic man in the history of time. He somehow believes that all no, of no, these I poor feel streamers he can win this. easily can win this. <laughs> And Easily. The provinces from, uh, Look at that. 17 war score capitulation. That was powerful. That was good. Managed to get in there, get the capital of Fez yoinked. That was nice. We have to look, we need to spread it around a little bit. I want, I want to be even handed. I want to be <laughs> even handed. That was beautiful. That was Thank really, you. really good. Thank you. Nicely done. Nicely done. Just gonna point out, Christo is like, no, he's done for. He cannot win. This, I didn't. Bro. So I didn't say he. I said he couldn't win that does, the war. There's no sorry. way. Ludwig, is, are there two Christos no in right now? That's an insane Excuse impression. Me. That's Thank exactly you. how I sound. Cut the mic. Cut his mic. We're out of here. Let Red Hawk looking pretty good. Fifteen minutes remaining, and take a look at this. Five out of seven challenges already done for Red Hawk. Really nice. How is he doing on uh, old provinces and trade note? Did he get lanes? Done nothing. He's got, he's got very few minutes left and he needs to get that. That has to be presumably why he's cranking out these uh, transports. But uh, Red Hawk, hello. Let's, let's get your thoughts on this. The, the Madagascan offensive is seeming uh, hello, hello. a little short on time. Yeah, yeah, I am. I, I don't think I'm going to get 10,000 ducats or everything in uh, Zanzibar, but we'll see. We'll see. With those two being we'll your only two them. challenges remaining, you presumably you're trying to gun for one. So looking like the focus is all provinces? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on mm. provinces. Uh, loans aren't big enough right now to go for the 10k ducat thingy, so... Red Hawk, I have to tell you that right now, it's looking like Lathe is going to get probably one more challenge completed, bringing you both to five. So you are that fighting for the win figure. in round one right now. Oh, yeah? Takes well, this. all right, let's get to it then. Let's get to it. 13 minutes remaining. You got this, man. Good luck. You got this. Ludi, my optimist, my, my shining light... My I feel they like can it's do gonna be exactly man. like I said at the start, man. They're both gonna get all the objectives, and the second session is gonna be the decider. There's no around. shot he gets 10k ducats. He's already deep in the debt hole. How many uh, ducats? How many loans does he have now? We should have asked. Well, I well, don't know, there. but he probably has like. I mean, he's going hard into debt. He's really just going for the operations of the trade node. But I mean, feels like he's playing a bit slow now. Like this is, this needs to be a like declare the war, kill. The, I mean, look at that. He's taking four loans a month. That seems bad. That seems real bad. So here's the thing, right? As long as he gets all the provinces and the trade note, he gets the he gets the con objective completed, right? Yes. Afterwards, he can just go bankrupt, oh, dev yes. up with the production dev all of the gold mines, and just speed five it for six minutes, and he can get the ten k. Afterwards, but I mean, he's only got eleven and a half minutes left. Is he going to be able to really get this done? Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. It's going to be close, I say. I mean, it's not impossible, to be fair, but it is not going to be easy either, that's for sure. Let's Sack take a look ones. at Lace's perspective here, because he got both sides of two straight crossings. He's just reported that. He's doing some releasing, but is he going to be able to get him to the low 25 Liberty Desire? I think he's typing. I think he thinks he's done it. I don't think he knows. Does Subjects he know? Done. Does do? he know is the question. Oh, no. What do I do? You remember how I shared a document like four or five times that specified here are the challenges and here are like the, the extra bits <laughs> that make them a bit done. more challenging? <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the, the subjects have to have 25 or less liberty desire. That's a fun little addition, isn't it? It is, yeah. Like nice little, nice little quirk. I thought That's so. That's great. I love that. For I'd us. say, I'd say he can do it, man. He's. Got Are you talking about? There's dev. no shot. Why not? He can dev up their provinces. Each dev click is five percent liberty desire reduction. Okay. So. Yeah. Let's let's see that. Ten Love minutes that. left. I think you do have a shot, but it's going to be very challenging. I'm happy to tell you that it looks like you can't. You know, it's not over until until it's over, but. It looks like a... if you can get these six challenges done, these uh, six subjects below 25 you got this desire, man. He got all of it. You'll win I, round I, I, one. I strongly believe both of you are gonna get all the objectives. You no, know I'm gonna do. Here's, here's how I'm gonna. Here's how I'm gonna get back. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna delete. 55 percent. Not bad. He's got this, man. I told you he's got this. See, he's devving up his land though, rather than the subject land. Yeah, but that's also making him stronger. So it's Little making the vassals weaker. I'm, dude, weaker, I'm so you know strong I mean? right now. He's trying for crownland. He's trying for crownland. <laughs> well. <laughs> this is a lesson for those of you at home. Read documents that Christo sends you. It would, mm -hmm. it would help. Mm -hmm. It's a good lesson for life. Could you tell some of my coworkers that as well? It's it's a very I'll good you, thing. I'll send I'd you like a little some voice note. Uh, for that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Thank you. For the for the for the little voice note though, if you could if you could do it wearing a uh, non clip on bow tie, it just helps. With you the excuse you think this is a clip on bow tie? <laughs> excuse me. I'm so happy to be wrong. <laughs> you think this was clip on? That is a oh, very, that is a very nasty barb from you. Oh that my. is very well tied. To Thank you. You know what? Right at the end, I'll pull it off and I'll stare straight in the camera and you'll know I, that it was me. I look forward to it. I look oh forward to God. it. All it's right. upsetting, man. It's just hard. It's bullying. I'm I glad mean, this I, is life. I'm glad because people wouldn't believe me if I say that, that Christo <laughs> bullied me on camera. That's that's the title of the video, mate. That's it. You're done. Okay, less than 25%. Right can, I, can I negotiate you down to less than like, just loyal? <laughs> No, Let's talk that's to me up. here. Let's make it interesting. Let's make it interesting. A, that's up, and B, <laughs> no, no, I, I am an, I am an iron lawmaker. God speed. Uh, good luck. <laughs> there's one done. Hey, look at that. Let's take a look at Red Hawk here. Oh, we're getting a second navigation done. So it's all about the 10k ducats. It's gonna be close. You can have up to 70 loans. Oh no, he's doing maths. I'm trying to see if I can get 10,000 ducats. It says I can take uh -huh. 70 loans. Right now I have, uh, how many loans do I have? I have 16 loans. So that's like, what, 54 more, lo more loans? 54 times 164 is 8856. Oh, 8, 8, that's six. close. And I can that's debase 10 times, right? No, five times. And you can also uh, hmm. destroy your tax, don't, don't, don't and you can also him, develop don't, don't, before yeah, starting yeah, that's taking what I'm the thinking. loans. So He's giving him tips. There's already favoritism allegations. I if it's worth bumping these up. <laughs> it is. You know what? I I'm gonna try it. Thing. Everything else I've done. So first, mm -hmm. I'm gonna debase tax. Where's exploit dev? So first, I'm gonna do this. No, no, no. First, take the loans. First, take the, the loans. My right, guy. Right. First, take the loans. <laughs> it didn't shrink that much. The loans you can take. Yeah. yeah, they didn't shrink that much. Then debase is oh. for debasing. Debase next. Oh, right, 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 right. it's looking next. pretty close. Yeah, smaller. we can get it. Oh, dang. And I can sell Crownland too. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. oh, oh, no, I can't sell Crownland. No, Dude, we're 90 ducats short. <laughs> oh, we're 90 ducats God. short. How do we get these Kill 90 the ducats? Kill the rebels. No, because every tick, he's going to lose so much money Except in interest. No, no. And then oh wait, I can get burger one. loans. There it is. Ah, uh, no, I no, can't. No, because you're in yeah, the loan cap. You're at <laughs> yeah, I'm at the loan cap. So accept the rebel hmm. demands and then just uh, sell the crown loans. What are the rebel demands? The ones that popped out. Yeah, it's just these guys. Uh, wait, so they're gonna be here March 14th. That's in a day. I think I could get this before it takes over. That. Yeah. I got an achievement. <laughs> nah, it's gonna take over. I'm and I'm gonna lose 26 ducats. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if I lose 26 ducats. Doesn't matter. There we go. Now I can uh, do that. Nice, 10k ducats done. Boom. 
10k ducats. Very nice. Hey, I got all of them. You love to see it. Dude, I'm the best. Well done. Right awesome. now, now I can pay off my loans, right? I don't want to collapse. You can do whatever you like at this point. You have two minutes Wait. and 50 seconds to enjoy your great victory while Leith tries to make uh, subjects like him. Leith, we believe in you. How long do I have? We believe in you. You have two minutes have? and 30 seconds. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, also known as plenty yeah. of time. I'll do something. There we go. Bang. Oh, that was worse close. than when I started. <laughs> Man makes subjects stronger to hit than him, relatively speaking, is surprised when it doesn't make them more loyal. Well, no I, thought they'd, I thought they'd appreciate yeah. it. That's why you don't uh, dev up uh, Gratitude is a coin. have six of them, because it's going to just make them stronger and more disloyal after oh, one. Sorry, I'm just going to check my back seat. I think there might be a general there. Hey, I'm only trying to help here. Oh, you're, uh, you're right at loan cap, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Oh, Honestly, I'm I'm surprised that I, I got this far. You did very well, to be fair. This is very good. 75 seconds. So I've got 75 seconds. You know what? Why don't, why don't we chat about you? How you doing, man? I was like, Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I mean, your, uh, your bow tie yeah. is a bit squiffy now. It's uh, off to one side, but... Uh... You know? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I can't believe this guy asked to chat about me and took the headphones off. It's honestly an absolute baller move. All right. That was an awesome round one. I have to imagine, I mean, you got 20 seconds left. So I think we'll call it there. But uh, the final scores from round one then are seven points to Red Hawk. And tragically, a Lath, a measly four. Because Lath, to explain it here a little bit, got six challenges completed, one not completed. That gives him six points for the completed challenges, minus two. For the six subjects tragically he failed at the classic youtuber hurdle reading things that people send you before an event it's many people have tried few have succeeded so we have a four points for lay seven points for red hawk situation we need some studio reactions to this one two reactions one maths is hard two yes. reading even harder. Uh, with that said, do you want me to be mean? I, I think I think I need you to be mean to Red Hawk because I have been overloading on Lath. Oh, I, I meant to be mean so towards Flurry because both Lath and Red Hawk. Okay, <laughs> true, true. Flurry absolutely blown out by uh, already by round one. Uh, but yeah, I mean that victory uh, party at Lath uh, Place is it, very tempting. It's only uh, you know three points away from uh, from actually happening and i'm sure everyone who's been invited are gonna have a lovely mm -hmm. time you also get to have a very quick uh, but lovely break uh we'll be right back mm -hmm.